Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is how to tape your player stick. You're going to use pride tape to do it, use scissors for cutting the tape, and have your favorite stick here, which mine is my Warrior Covert QRL. So I'm just going to go over how I tape my stick, but I'll also use it as kind of a general guide. There'll be two versions of these, a longer one that actually shows me doing it where I'll talk over it and why I do things, and another just showing like what you do and what to look out for. That's about it. Check out this, or just check out my channel if you want to see the longer one with me talking through it. This one will be the shorter one. People always tape their sticks in different ways. It's all about personal preference. And personally, I don't think there's a right way or wrong way. If it works for you, then don't worry about it. For me, I tape the toe and go from the toe to the heel. So that uh, I'll show why a little bit later. But some people will just tape here. Some people will tape here. Some people will tape the toe all the way to back here. It's all personal preference. If you like it that way, keep doing it. I will point out some things that you should look out for. Uh, some people also tape the edges all the way around in the hopes of protecting that edges, that edge. I don't do that. I just think it's harder to take the tape off and I don't know if the tape really makes any difference. But I'll begin and we'll just, I'll show off the quickly how I do the top uh, part of my tape and do a few wraps around and then that way you'll get a general idea of it and then we'll just cut to the end. Just like uh, the rest of this, the tape job, the toe can be done in a multiple different ways and whatever way you want is, whatever way is good. Some people just put the tape on the edge and fold the corners down. I don't like that. So what I do is I tape like this where there'll be overhang on both sides and it's pretty close to the edge and you just make sure there's no uh, bumps. And then you go to the other side and you just join it down and then you got to pull it tight just like that and if this isn't tight okay there we go so we tighten it all out flatten it all out and go like that and then what we'll do is we'll cut the tape and then we'll cut off the edges so there we go and then the next part is just trimming off the edges which i won't make you bear through this so when attaching the next part to actually wrap around the tape, what I do is I will get, uh, I will go to the back of the tape or stick, as you can see here, and go to the very bottom. And then there is a bit of overlap between the two layers. Flatten that out and you can just fold it over a bit and then get to the front. And you wanna make sure that there's no gaps because there is, we'll remove that and we'll put it on a more of an angle. So now there's a bit more overlap, smooth, smooth out any little bumps and we come down here as you can see there we have no we have a bit of overlap there but I don't really make a lot but there's the front side of it and then we'll go to the back and then we put a bit more angle here and again you just gotta flatten out all the parts and the part with the very end as you can see how it sticks up just cut that excess off just to get it going and then come down the front make sure it's all flat it's like, and that's basically the gist of it. Just make sure when you pull, you are pulling a bit tight. That way it will smooth out any bumps. So when we get to the end of like the back of the stick, I always end it at the back. Uh, I don't really, I just bring it to the top of the blade and we'll just cut it off. And Cut it off and stick it down firm. So we have a bit of overlap there, but that's fine. Then we get the front, which looks pretty good. Then we can trim off the excess. So here's basically my done up stick. Um, so the reason I go from the toe to the heel is so for the overlapping, as you can see there, that way a puck will be shot from here and generally go this way and won't get caught up on the edges. I don't use wax, you can use wax. Um, I just don't, never did. And that's about it for this. Like I said, you can do it any way you want. You can go all the way to the top. That's just how I do mine. Just make sure you pull tight when you do it so there's no bumps. And if there is bumps, you can smooth it out with your fingers. And that's about it for that part. So then we'll go to the top of the stick. But for me, the problem with the top is I use Tacky Max and like butt ends or sniper skin. So I don't use tape up here. So again, you can do it any way you want. 
For me, I would just put one roll at the top and make a knob, and then this would just be holding onto the stick. But the reason I don't use tape is because I found tape wears out gloves, the palms of gloves, and this stuff doesn't. So I got these for like six bucks each. Um, butt ends are really expensive, or too expensive in my opinion, like 30. Canadian, of course. So I just buy these and slide these on because the Tacumax last just as long or close to as long and they're way cheaper. But yeah, that's about it for taping the stick. Uh, again, it's all personal preference. Do whatever you want to do. Just find something you like and I'll trim these off but you don't need to see that. But hopefully this video was a bit helpful. Uh, make sure you subscribe to me on YouTube and check out in the description for my Twitter and Instagram and follow me there. It just helps me get stuff so I can do reviews. For example, Warrior sent me this stick so I could do a review on, which I suggest you check out as well because it's very good. Uh, but that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, again, it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments or tell me how horrible of a job I did, uh, leave it below. Take care.